Ideally, we have a known point that we can import before we even show up on site. If that's the case, I can navigate to flow360.amlet.com and log in with my Amlet account to create the project I will be working on. I'll select new project, then name it, and select the correct coordinate system, vertical datum, and linear units. I will then import the point file containing my node point. You can also manually enter the point if given the coordinates outside of an accepted file type. Now that that is loaded in Flow360, it will sync up on the Emlet Flow app on my data collector. Out in the field, I set my base over the survey nail of my known point. I'll connect to the base, then tap Base Settings and Configure. Since I'm using a 2 meter pole, I'll correct that first. Emlet Flow will add the additional 134 millimeter antenna offset automatically. Then change coordinate entry method to manual, then tap choose from project. Then select the project containing the known point that we set up in Emlet Flow 360 earlier. Select that point, apply, and save. This is the best way to ensure our base and therefore our rover will have a high degree of absolute accuracy. Switching over to the rover, we can see we are receiving corrections from our base and quickly have a fix. The move the receiver message is shown to initialize our IMU and enable tilt compensation. Tapping the blue plus button will take us into the measurement view. Again, I'm using a two meter rod, so I will tap on the pole height and adjust that for the correct height. I'll also turn on averaging for the points I collect. And since I'm not taking any shots that require tilt, turning off tilt compensation and leveling my rod eliminates the need to wait for the IMU to initialize, as well as removing the error associated with tilt compensation. If we don't have a known point, Hopefully the base can receive corrections from an NTRIP network. I have Ohio's DOT network, so I'll connect to that with NTRIP over Bluetooth. Now that I have a fix with my base, I can collect an averaged fix point. Then I can go back into my base settings as before and manually choose that point from my project to use as my base marker. Now switching to my rover and collecting points will yield a high level of both absolute and relative accuracy. In the case we don't have a known point and there isn't an entrip provider we can connect to, we will need to set our base marker a bit differently. Our suggestion is to collect a point using an average single solution and importing that in the same way we did with the known points. This way we can repeat this base position on this job site and maintain a high level of relative accuracy. So we will connect to the base, then go into our project and tap the blue plus button and adjust our survey settings to allow us to collect a point without a fix. We can average that point for up to 59 minutes and 59 seconds or just collect one quickly since either way our absolute accuracy won't be very good. Remember to turn fix only back on for the rest of your survey. With that point collected, we will go back in the base settings and import that point. We can also leave our base logging for Opus in this configuration if we ultimately need absolute accuracy on this project. This has been Patrick with E38 Survey Solutions. Thanks for watching.